Woman mocks mom on flight, has no idea who she is. She was too tang, sighing and scooting to the far edge of her seat. Amy couldn't relax. She obviously had a problem with Amy. Amy decided to bite. Is something bothering you? Amy asked. That question was all the woman needed to unleash her wrath of hell on Amy. There was no going back now. Things took a personal and ugly turn. Amy Marie was flying from Chicago to Tennessee with her young daughter when she experienced an encounter that left her shaking. As a single, working mom, Amy had her work cut out for her. This is why she desperately looked forward to the long weekend ahead with her family. Amy was a strong-willed and assertive woman. It was a trait that suited her line of work. Usually, it was hard to crack her, but tiredness does strange things to a person. She had just come off a grueling couple of weeks of intense shifts and long nights with her two-year-old daughter, Alyssa. Amy needed sleep and a big warm hug. However, that was definitely not what she'd find on this flight. She made her way down the aisle with her bags and daughter in hand, shuffling past passengers until she found her seat. She moved into the empty three-seat row and settled her daughter into the window seat. She made herself comfortable in the middle seat, hoping that no one would sit on the aisle seat beside her. However, her wish was far-fetched. Amy's welcoming smile met a sigh of annoyance as the middle-aged woman placed her bags overhead and took her seat beside her. Amy instantly knew that this was no passenger match made in heaven. But she had no idea just how disgruntled this woman was to be seating beside her. Soon, she was about to find out just how much. It was obvious to Amy that something was bothering the woman beside her. At first, she thought it was because of Alyssa. She knew some people weren't pleased to see a two-year-old traveling beside them. But that wasn't the problem. No, what was bothering this woman was something far more personal. After numerous two tang sighs and scooting to the far edge of her seat, Amy couldn't relax. She decided to ask the rude woman if anything was bothering her. Yes, the woman replied. As a matter of fact, something is bothering me. When was the last time you showered and washed your clothes, she spat. Amy dropped her jaw in disbelief. But she wasn't the only one. Unknowingly to Amy or the woman, a man sitting behind her overheard her remark and quickly grabbed out his phone to record what followed. Excuse me, Amy said. The woman then continued to comment on her top and leggings which had a milk stain on them. Amy looked down, completely forgetting about the stain on her clothes from feeding her daughter earlier while rushing to make their flight in time. Then the rude woman told her that she stinks of baby milk. Amy sniffed her top. She couldn't change as she already put her luggage of clothes in the undercarriage, but she spritzed herself with perfume in the bathroom before she boarded the flight. It didn't smell that bad. But the woman was relentless, I know you have a child, but there are a lot of women out there doing better than you. Now, it went from bad to worse. Maybe it was the tiredness or maybe it was the sudden uncalled for personal attack. Either way, Amy couldn't hold it together. She often questioned herself as a mother. She hated the fact that she had to work so much. Maybe if she didn't, she'd be more put together. She could have told the woman who she really was to set her straight but she didn't. Instead, she became upset, but someone else did too. As Amy turned her head away from the woman to gather her thoughts, she felt a tap on her shoulder. She turned to see a big man standing over her. Ma'am, is this woman bothering you? No, it's okay, Amy said. He pressed her again, ma'am, he said. I heard everything and I have it all on tape. I'm off duty right now, but I'm a cop and I hate to see anyone get bullied like this. I can give her a warning right now. But what Amy said next shocked everyone. Amy watched as the woman beside her began to grow nervous as the man behind them revealed his identity. She couldn't wait to do the same. So she turned to the man and smiled. Then she turned to the woman and looked her dead in the eyes and said, funny thing, I'm a cop too. Startled, the woman withdrew her eye contact as Amy then thanked the man behind her. But it wasn't over yet. Amy's daughter Alyssa had been extremely well behaved the entire journey. She managed to keep herself entertained with her dolls while her mom began to teach this woman a lesson.
Do you have kids? She asked the woman. No, the woman said. She was more reserved now. Knowing that Amy had the law on her side took her down a peg or two. It was the perfect time for Amy to get her point across. Amy began to explain why she didn't look or smell like dandelions and daisies. She gently reminded the woman to be more considerate about another person's life and circumstances before she unleashes her cruel and judgmental words. Raising kids is tough. There'll be good days and there'll be bad days, and this woman would do good to remember that. After her story was shared online by an onlooker, people poured in to offer their support to Amy and thank her for her service as well as condemning the rude woman. Women are so often judged harshly on their parenting skills, especially when they are working, single moms. It's no wonder Amy broke down. It's a tough world out there, so let's give all moms the appreciation they deserve.